Hello everyone, thank you, thank you for watching the video. Welcome to another episode of Phrasal Verbs. Today we're going to look at 10 more phrasal verbs that I have prepared here for you and I'm really, really excited to share all of these 10 phrasal verbs today. Okay, so let's just get started. Get along with, this is going to be number 31. Get along with, okay, so here I have some options from where you can choose. Get along with, have a good relationship with somebody, okay? For example, I get along well with my roommate, okay? That means that I have good relationship with my roommate, okay? Number 32, 32, get back from, get back from, the meaning of this phrasal verb is to return from a trip, to return from a trip. A, a good example could be when you ask a friend, when did you get back from the United States, for example? Or if you're in the United States, you can say, when did you get back from Mexico? Okay, when did you return from that trip? Okay, number 33, get over. Get over means to recover from an illness or a shock. Okay, so a good example could be, after a week, I got over the flu and returned to work. Okay, after a week, I recovered from this illness and got back to work. Okay, number 34, 34, get together with, get together with is join or meet. A good example of this expression, get together with, could be uh, my friends and I usually get together after work, okay? Or if I want to use the word with, I can say, I usually get together with my friends after work. Okay, that is also another expression. Number 35, 35, get through with, okay? Get through with means to finish something, okay? So I can say, we finally got through with this project before time or just before time, okay? So 36, 36, give away. Give away means to donate, get rid of something by giving. For example, I couldn't sell my bike, so I gave it away, okay? So I gave it to someone else, I donated it, okay? So that is number 36. And then we have 37, give up. Give up means to quit doing something or quit trying, okay? So, for example, this is too hard, I can't do it, so I quit or I give up, okay? I give up. And then we have number 38, 38, go on. Go on means to continue, to continue, okay? So let's say that we're working on a, a task and it seems to be hard, we can say, okay, let's not stop, let's keep trying until we make it, let's go on, let's continue, okay, let's continue. Number 39, go over to, go over to means to approach a person or something, okay? And it also means to visit someone's home, okay? So, for example, I went over to her and talked to her about my feelings, okay? Or I can also say, let's go over to David's home, okay? Let's go visit David. Let's go to his house, okay? So that is what you can say for number 39. Go over to approach someone or something or visit someone's home, okay? And finally, number 40, grow up. You can also add in, grow up in. It means to become an adult, okay? I can say, I grew up in Mexico. My siblings grew up in the United States, okay? All right, so these are the 10 phrasal verbs that I have here for you. Uh, I like to do this because that way you can figure out the meaning of the phrasal verb without just going straight. So 
thank you so much for watching this video thank you for subscribing and giving us a like all right leave your comments uh, if you have any questions if you want to say something and i will see you next time